back to the Camel Hawk Show, everybody. I'm your host, Camel Hawk. And today we're going to continue my playthrough of Paper Mario. When last we left our intrepid hero, he had just gotten his. his, uh. extremely blue overalls whooped by the master. And also earned the best badge. And now it's time to go use that badge. Whoa, not against this guy, but I first struck him anyway, so I guess it. I guess that's what's going to happen. As you can see. Mario has a little lightning symbol next to him. That's the power of Zap Tap, which I'm gonna try to demo for you right now. By taking a hit from this poor sucker of a Goomba who doesn't know what's going to happen. Observe. <laughs> ah, it's the best badge. Anyone that directly attacks Mario takes one contact damage in return. Uh, against these guys, maybe not especially useful because I can mostly just one round them. But, uh, it's great to have anyway. It's, if only, IF only, and it's a lot more than that, for the immunity that it affords you against Woboy, against the, uh, the fuzzies and stuff. Whoop, I'm ignoring you. I've already ground these guys for enough star points. <laughs> so there we go. Now I'm just gonna make my way quickly back to the, uh, the Koopa Village. <coughs> After avoiding all the enemies, of course. Check to see if, uh, whoopsies, Chuck Testa is there, and then, <laughs> um, and then, and then, and then, and then what I should be doing is, I took the hammer throw badge off, so I'm going to do this. There we go. Get rid of Koopa Troopa. So that Goober, Cooper, Goober, <laughs> Goober the Quick, oh boy. <laughs> there we go, and now this guy. There we go. <laughs> Lightning. Oh, I forgot to take the badge off, the down badge, because it's annoying me now. Alright, six more star points. Okay. So let me do that real quick. I'll put it on later when I have, like, all of them, but for now it's it's annoying, so I'm just going to go use the normal smack attack sound. And now I just got to check for Chuck Testa, and then we'll be on our way to the Cooper Brothers Fortress for the last time! I think. I don't think there's any reason to go back there afterwards. Well, actually, Chuck can appear in two places in this village, if I'm not completely mistaken. And if he's not home, then it means that I have to go back to, like, if I, next time I have to see him, it's, he'll probably be in the Goomba Village or something. I don't know what the, what the gimmick is to determine whether or not he's home or not. Nope. No Chuck. Alright, whatever. Let's move on. And I've already done all the favors I can for old Koopa Koop. Oh, there he is! What'd you get here? Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master for one more star piece. Let's answer this one right. Question! I'll be Tattle. Jump what you would think so, but it's actually Headbonk. I don't think these are time or anything. Correct! So I get a star piece. Dive, huh? I think someone else uses, like, Dive Bomb. Alright, so I got a star piece again, so I have one in my inventory now. Excellent! Next time I want to see him, he'll probably be in, uh... Toad Town or something. That's alright, though, because we're not going back there. I'm, I'm done grinding star pieces for the moment, because I don't think that I'm going to have anywhere near the 25 that I need to get Power Plus for the longest time. I should probably do this real quick. There we go. Thank you for that. I should have stopped for the FP, but I don't really care that much. And there's a heart block on the way, so it doesn't matter too much. Now then, I forgot about you. I should have spun to knock him some. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Now I gotta determine something, whether or not the uh, Koopas, when they attack, can be electrocuted. Because they're inside their shell, so... There we go. No, they don't get electrocuted. Ah, it's alright, though. Because they're still easy to nate. <laughs> alright. Get out of here. I'm going to level in a minute if I don't hurry up <laughs> this game. Alright, that's where the switch was. Ah! <laughs> Crazy, spiky-headed Goombas. And the paratroopers now. Alright, I think it's only this one screen. Star piece. Star piece! <laughs> There's something in this tree, I know it! Okay, maybe I was wrong. Whatever. It's kind of surprised he didn't hurt me. He messed me over! I should probably use that at this point. A fire flower. 
I have nothing better to use these things on, so... Three fire damage to all enemies. And then Cooper can just murder this one. There we go. The Thunderball I might save for a while. There we are. Okay. Yeah, that guy, is good. he's got the mob of four. I have to remember him for when I come back here next time. And a heart block. Something there I didn't need to bust the item, but... When else am I going to use fire flowers? The music hasn't switched to the scary music yet. I don't know why. Alright, let's go inside. Into... Hey, it's Black Ninja Koopa! Whoa! Oh, we're the world of hurt! Mario's here already! Alright, run, man, run. <laughs> They're actually cowards underneath all that bluster and stalk. Nothing over here, alright, whatever. Open up! So this is the latest dungeon. It's, uh, an old-school castle thingy. I think I actually need to kill this guy, because the door's locked. <laughs> Boink! Hey, Baba! We haven't met these guys yet. So that means I need to... do this real quick. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Maybe Zap Tap. I thought it would just bounce him off, but I guess he'd blow up on me if he jumps on. Well, I guess that's fine. Hey, Ken, what's up? Am I disturbing you? Fortress Key! Alright. Yeah, bob bombs their trick is they blow up if they get all upset. And unfortunately, getting electrocuted tends to make bob bombs upset. So, don't do it too often. What we got? Okay, so apparently stone is a good coolant. I'm gonna ignore those guys, because I've already ground enough experience. And here's Green Ninja Koopa, and of course, the gimmick with this, this dungeon is that, basically, they, they get to do a whole bunch of little trickery every time you get to a certain point in the fortress. And so, the trickery here is he activates the cages, and... yo oh no, it's Mario! That's right! <laughs> You'll still never find him. I, I can see you locked the key, but, um... Yeah, fighting time. That's alright. There we go! <laughs> I got my dizzy attack off. That was good. So, let's hop on Pop here. There we go, and then I'm gonna tattle the bob on because I forgot to. They're pretty temperamental. They get steaming mad. Yeah, the thing is, if I attack him normally, he gets all pissed off. Three, one, and zero. Alright, so don't jump on him, or they'll blow up. So you can use hammers or shells. Goombario's no good, so watch out. Ow. I think I need to actually block that appropriately. <laughs> it's alright, though. I'm gonna be, uh... If I find a mob of four of these guys, I might be in a little trouble, though. Because I already busted... No, I have a second Fire Flower. What am I thinking? Okay, we're good. One and done. So that takes care of this area. Well, I think there's more guys in it, but yeah, whatever. So I get another heart back. Excellent. So there's more than one cage in this room. Um, like this one, for example. Now this guy, he's just showing you, you can go around and get that badge. So you have to hop inside, I think. Come on, what are we doing? There we go. The Power Bounce Badge. I don't think I'm going to be using this one ever, but... Uh, the gimmick with Power Bounce is that you can continuously jump on an enemy until you miss the action command. Or you get 101 bounces. Something like that. So, it's good for people who are really good at bounce. Of course, the damage declines by one point every time, so it's not like you'll get 3, 3, 3, 3, you have the, the highest attack power or whatever. So, whoa! Someone drops a key, and I don't know who it is. I'm gonna find out. It's probably this guy, actually, because I, I cannot go anywhere else in this room. There we go. Oh, no! <laughs> This calls for emergency measures. <laughs> there we go, that's good. 
Yeah, also fire, if you use it, will instantly kill the bob -ombs, so that's fine. <laughs> I wasn't about to take six from those guys, or even three, if I can't, if I can do the blocks appropriately. I could do it next time, because I'm at 97 points. Ah, switch! Hey, Cowboy, what's banging? I'm in the Cooper Village Fortress, that's what! Oh, boy. I came in just in time. Yeah, I found out, apparently using zap tap on bob -ombs is a bad idea. Really? <laughs> yes! They just blow up when they hit you, instead of bouncing off and blowing up. <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> well, I'm laughing, but... <laughs> you know. Okay, so now I just opened up the way into the basement. What's in here? Uh, oh, prison! With bob in it! Inclu let's see, we have uh, apparently one, one woman and four men. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything about it from just here. Just because it's pink doesn't mean it's a girl. Uh, okay, but I... What about tertiary sexual characteristics? Mm. Both are up for the bit. Oh, uh, the door! It, it moved! Can you see the screen, by the way? Or do I need to remember my yeah. computer? Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Just check in. Just the Bonk! Bonk. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> it's awesome. There we go. Just helping myself to some lunch, bro. Yeah, go over. Go. All right, <laughs> we're finally eating lunch in the middle of an episode. <laughs> Whoops, I was laughing too hard, so I flubbed my attack power. That's all right. I'll knock him down in a minute. I was busy working in the laboratory this morning, so. Oh, awesome. Kind of lost track of time. Yeah, let me. I just want to see if I can electrocute the flying guys. I've already done this one. Blah 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 blah. So, show me. Nope, they're in the shell, so they bounce right off. That's okay. There we go. Two hits knocks him onto his back. And then, of course, Goombaro. I should probably switch to Cooper, but these guys are flying, so maybe not. Cooper's better for the bob -ombs and the spiky guys, if they show up in this fortress. And then Goombario can hit the flying the paratroopers, so... You know, you have to choose which partner you want. Alright, level up. Guess what I'm getting. Actually, FP would be the one this time. No, that's more badge points. <laughs> I talked myself out of it. Whoa! I forgot to spin. Fortunately, you can block the uh, the like the quick attacks, but I forgot to. There we go. So let's knock him down. And Gumbario can knock this one down. There we go. One and done. And unfortunately, I do have to fight all three of these mobs. Actually, fortunately, because you know I like experience and all that. I have to fight all three of the mobs in this room in order to. Uh, to progress because the doors they just moved. So I need to hit this guy to keep him face down. Because they take. <laughs> Look at them struggle on their backs. <laughs> Even the ninja Koopas, those guys are still turtles. They probably take two turns to get up as well. Oh man, only one star point now. I think I'm over leveled or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. That doesn't usually happen, you know. When I get to this park, I think it's because I did a lot of accidental fighting in the middle of uh, the pleasant path when I was grinding for star pieces for Zap Tap. So, whatever. They're pretty simple enemies, so I'll just. I find it very amusing how you have like, never level up your health in that case. <laughs> all badge points all the time. <laughs> ah, <laughs> unfortunately, he's in his shell, so he doesn't get lightning powered. <laughs> So you find it amusing that I'm still going 10-5? <laughs> You're wondering when or if I'm going to start powering the other two, right? <laughs> well, you'll see. Probably not for a while, though. I think they'll run out of badge point level ups around World 4, so... Uh, something like that. 3 or 4, because I know you can only grind it up to 30 points max in this game. You don't ever have to take anything other than badge points in Thousand Year Door, though. Because <laughs> you can grind that up to 99. <laughs> Alright, so that's the... By the way, you don't mind that I'm referring to these as mobs, do you? That's what they are. Exactly. Jumping rope with the dope? Yeah. <laughs> and that's how you beat them? <laughs> yes, by jumping rope with the dope. <laughs> that's how you beat the fire bars. Whoops, I botched that one. It's alright. I have plenty of heart points, so we're, we're good if I botch a couple more. There we go. They worth like, I don't know, 8 or 10 coins, so that's why I'm blowing them up. I wonder if they respawn if I leave and come back. Fortress Key! 
Let me just switch back to Koopa real quick. Because I think I've tattled everything in this dungeon now. Uh, except for the guys on the top floor. Alright. So, now that I've done this... Yeah, if you were doing a low-level run in this room here with the three forced mobs, you would have to bring like seven Fright Jars and hope you scared everybody away. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Oh wait, no, this is just a, the prison room. What am I thinking? <laughs> um, where was the locked door? That was upstairs, I think. Right over here. Yeah, there we go. See, it's it's technically a... it's kind of a linear dungeon. Like, you can only go one place at a time. <laughs> Look at him, he's just... time... he's just, like, flash-stepping all over the place to build this thing. Alright, what do you got for us, Yellow? This is perfect, I think. And apparently he can see way down here. Here comes Mario! <laughs> you better run far! <laughs> okay, so... We're suspended over a giant pit. What does this lead to, actually? Oh, well, save point. And that appears to be about it, actually. Just a save point. And it plays the normal music, even though we're clearly still inside the fortress. 